Hi everyone, once again I decided to go on with uh, my next episode of Card Sharks. And I also have Leafman813 joining us. Same as, I have the same Skype guest as Mark, Gary, J Van, J, and Leaf. Now at it. And this time. And this time, Jay has elected Ready Unknown Fox as the returning champion. And he's elected to take on Leafman813. So you both know how to play, so let's get to the game. We're loading in the cards. Last time, Mark went up against uh, Ready Unknown Fox, and Jay ended up dethroning him, but Mark collects us for $23,000. So, Jay, are you ready to go? I am. Leaf, are you ready? I was born ready. All right. First question always goes to, go to the champion, and that's Jay. Jay, we asked, Jay, our surveyor, went down to Hawaii where he surveyed 100 people. And we asked them, have you seen a volcano erupting? How many of these 100 Hawaiians said, yes, they have seen a volcano erupting? Well, it seems kind of high since Hawaiians are usually known for seeing volcanoes. So I'm going to say about 72. 72 of 100 people in Hawaii said they have seen a volcano erupting. Leaf higher or lower than 72? Well, Matthew, you are a resident. <laughs> but I've never seen a volcano. Um, mm -hmm. No, I, uh, I'm not sure volcanoes erupt on Hawaii very often because, well, I'm, because I'm way far away from it. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a really low number instead, so let's go lower. Go oh, lower. If it is lower, Leaf, you play your cards. Jay, if it's 72 or higher, you play yours. And the actual number of these people in Hawaii who said they have seen a volcano erupt is 52. It is lower by 20. Leaf, your card is a 5. Um, I'll go higher. Higher than a 5? It's a 6. Let's go higher again. Higher than a 6? It's an 8! Lower than an ace, a six. Let's do the board. Higher. For the first game, higher. No. It's oh no, another six. Back to that five. Jay, a free shot for you, but you have to play your queen. And I will go lower. Okay, he is saying lower than a queen. Oh no, it's an ace. Oh, Leaf, I thought you were well on your way. But this next question is yours. Damn duplicates. Hmm. Leaf, we asked 100 men. Is it the women who have forgotten how to be romantic? How many of these men said yes, it is the women who have forgotten how to be romantic? Wait, what? You, you didn't hear the question? Yeah, it kind of cut off. Oh. We asked 100 men, is it the women who have forgotten how to be romantic? How many of these men said yes, it is the women who have forgotten how to be romantic? Oh. Oh, boy. Well, I will say this. I actually just hooked up with a girl recently. Um, so, and I... And I will tell you this, I would never forget to be romantic. So, I'm thinking the, the women that are forgetting to be romantic is a pretty high number. But to make it, it difficult for Jay, I'm going to go up the battle and say 50. 5-0? Five 5-0. Zero. Five zero. 50 of 100 men said it is the women who have forgotten how to be romantic. Jay, higher or lower than 50? 5-0. Five zero. Five zero. I'm actually going to say it's a little bit higher. He says higher. The actual number of these men who said that women have forgotten how to be romantic is... 61. It is just a little higher. Oh, man. Jay, you have your queen. I will go lower. Lower than a queen? No. Oh, no. It's an ace. Leave a free Ooh. shot for you. You have your five. Let's go higher. Higher than a five? It's a queen. 
lower than a queen, it's an eight. Seven plus one. Freeze. Freezing on the eight. Third question goes to Jay. Jay, we asked 100 priests, have you seen a pope in person? How many of these priests said yes, they have seen a pope in person? Uh, that's got to be... Uh, hmm... Knowing a priest, it would kind of be somewhat of a rare occasion to actually see a pope. So, I'm going to say about... 40. Four zero. Forty of a hundred priests said they have seen a pope in person. Leaf higher or lower than forty? Hmm, well, if it, were, if it was a priest that gets to see him, then that's a pretty good. That's a pretty. That's a good honor. So let's try higher. He says higher. The actual number of these priests who have seen the pope in person is. 50. It is just a little higher by 10. And Leaf, you have your 8, 7 plus 1. Let's change it. Alright, let's see if we make a good change here. The 8 becomes a jack. Let's go lower. Lower than a jack? That's a 10. Freezing on the 10, putting you one card away from the game, and... From the first match, it's the fourth and final question, so I must win on display of the cards, and the question goes to Leaf. Oh boy. Leaf, we asked 100 dentists, have you drilled the wrong tooth by mistake? How many of these dentists said yes, they have drilled the wrong tooth, the wrong tooth by mistake? Oh, yikes. Um... I'm going to say it's about 31. 31 of 100 dentists said they've drilled the wrong tooth by mistake. Jay, higher or lower than 31? Mm. I'm going to say... Dentists who drilled the tooth, who accidentally drilled the wrong tooth. I think it's a little bit lower. He says lower. The actual number of dentists said they have drilled the wrong tooth by accident is... 25. It is mu it is a little lower by 6. Jay, here's the situation. You have a base card of a queen. You need all four cards for game one. Leaf with the base card of a 10 needs only one. You can play the queen or change it, or you can pass to Leaf and he'll have to play off his 10. Jay, what are you going to do? Play the queen, change the queen, or pass to Leaf. Have fun with that 10. All right, he is passing it to Leaf. Leaf, you must play your ten. One card, one shot. Lower. For the first game of the match, lower than a ten. Oh no, it's a king, and Jay wins game number one. Unfortunately, yes. Man, that I'm starting to think that game's rigged. I hope not. Jay wins game number one. Leaf, this is make or break for you. First question of round two goes to Jay. <laughs> Jay, our surveyor, went down to Australia where he surveyed 100 women down to Australia. And we asked them, have you been robbed or held up on the streets? How many of these Australian women said yes, they have been robbed or held up on the streets? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um... I'm going to say it's about half, so 5 zero. 50 of 100 Australian women said they have been robbed or held up on the streets. Leaf higher or lower than 50? 5 zero. Hey, what was the question? We asked 100 Australian women, have you been held up or robbed on the streets? How many of them said yes? And what did Jay say? 50, 5 zero. Uh, higher. He says higher. The actual number of Australian women who have been held up or robbed on the streets is... Five! It is much lower, not higher. Only five. Jay, your card is a jack. Um, let's go lower. Lower than a jack? It's an eight. Seven plus one? 
I'll freeze. Freezing on the eight, not giving Leaf a chance. Leaf, this is your question now. Leaf, we asked 100 working wives. Did you turn your paycheck over to your husband? How many of these working wives said yes, they had, they had turned, they turned their paycheck over to the husband? Would you turn the paycheck over to the husband? How many of them said yes? I don't know. Women are pretty curious with money, so I don't think that would be a really high number. Um, I'm going to say only 20 of them. 20 of 100 working wives said they would turn their paycheck over to the husband. Jay, higher or lower than 20? I'm going to say it's a little bit higher. He says higher. The actual number of these married women, working women would turn the paycheck over to the husband is 14. It is lower, not higher. What? Leaf, your card is an ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. A queen. Lower than a queen. Oh, no. It's a king. What? Jay, a free shot for you, but you have to play your eight. Seven plus one. Lower. Lower than an eight? Oh, no. A queen. Third question goes to Jay. Jay, we asked 100 married women. Have you hired a private detective to follow your husband? How many of these married women said they have hired a private detective to follow their husband? I don't know why they want to do that. So I'm going to say it's around a low number. So I'm going to say 15. 15 of 100 married women said they hired a private detective to follow the husband. Leaf higher or lower than 15? Um, I'll, s wait, what, how much did Jay say? Fifteen, one five. Oh, gotta be higher. Higher, he says. The actual number of these married women who hired a private detective to follow the husband around is? Three, it is lower, not higher, just three of them. Jay, you have your eight, seven plus one, you have the right to change it. I will. Alright, changing that eight. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The camera shut off on me, but I put a new battery in, but I don't know how long it's going to last. So, Jay, you have to play your nine. Uh, let's go lower. Lower than a nine? A seven. Let's go lower again. Taking a chance. Lower than a seven? A six. I'll freeze. Freeze on the six. Not giving Leaf a chance. It's the fourth and final question, so I must win on this play of the cards. And that question goes to Leaf. Leaf, we found 100 married women with a full-time job. And we asked them, Did you tell your husband you were working late, but really went out with the girls? How many of these married women said yes? They told their husband they were working late, but really went out with the girls. Um, I'll be right back. Guy, take care of something. Oh. I'll try. I'll take his place. Sorry. What? Uh, let's... Well, the camera's low, so, uh... I believe said he would be right back, but, uh... So we'll be right back here and wait till Leaf returns. Sorry about that, guys. Leaf had to go due to a family emergency. So taking his place will be New Kirk G Man 2. And a reminder the, of a quick repeat of the question How? We asked 100 married women with a full time job Have you told your husband you were working late but really went out with the girls? How many of these married women said yes? They told their husband they were working late but really went out with the girls. I'm going to say not too many. I'm going to say around 45. 40? Oh. Ah, did it again. 45 of 100 married women with a full-time job said they told their husband they were working late but really went out with the girls. Jay, higher or lower than 45? Jay? Oh, let's see. <coughs> I'm... I will say it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher. The actual number of these 
Married women with a full-time job who said they were out with the girls is... 40! It is lower, not higher. Wow. All right, Gary, here's the deal. You're playing for Leaf. You have a base card of an 8. You need four cards. Jay, Jay with a base card of a 6 and he's only one. You can play the ace or change it, or you can pass to Jay and he'll have to play off his six. What's it going to be? Wait, what is it? Eight, seven plus one? Or no, it's is it ace, A-C-E. A-C-E. Okay. So what are you um, going to do? Play the ace or pass it to Jay? Well, sorry about that, guys. The camera shut off on me, but Gary is taking Leaf's place, as I said earlier. And he is going to play his ace. Play it. And, and I await. Gary, go for it. It's an ace. Lower. Lower than an ace? An eight. Seven plus one. Freeze. No, you can't freeze. This is the last play of the cards. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. Oh, guys, I'm going to be lower. Lower than an eight? Oh no, it's a Jack, and Jay has taken the match. So Jay goes to the money cards again. So I'll bring Leaf back for another episode. So... Jay will start to the bottom row with $200 of betting money where you bet right across three cards. Moving to the second row, you have $300 of betting money where you bet right across another three cards. $50 per bet to get to the top card, the big bet, where you must bet at least half the money. And you can win $30,400 if you play it right. And you get one joker just for making it to the money cards, Jay. Are you ready to go? I am. All right. Well, good luck to you, Jay. We are all behind you. Here's $200. And Jay, for $200, you start off with an 8. 7 plus 1. Would you like to play that or change it? I want to change it with number 2. Alright, let's see if you make a good change here. The 8 becomes... a 6. It falls not to burst your bubble, but i got to sign off for right now. Okay. Alright, we'll see you guys around. Alright. So, Jay, you have $200 and that's 6. You have to play it. Alright. Um, one hundred dollars higher. One hundred dollars higher than a six? It's a ten. Three hundred dollars and a ten. One hundred dollars lower. Trying it again. One hundred dollars lower than a ten? It's a nine. Four hundred dollars and a nine. One hundred dollars lower. One hundred and once again, one hundred dollars lower than a nine. It's a six. You did good on the first row, Jay. Moving to the next row, give you three hundred dollars more of betting money. You now have eight hundred dollars and a, and a six. Now you are allowed to change it because you are on a new row. And I want to change it with number three. Okay, let's see if we make a good change here. The three becomes a jack. Jay, you have eight hundred dollars and a jack. I want to have $200 lower. Okay. $200 lower than a jack? It's a joker. You now have two chances at the jackpot. We'll replace the card. Do you wish to keep the same bet? Yes. Okay. Trying it again. $200 lower? It's a seven. $1,000 and a seven. $100 lower. $100 lower than a 7? Oh no, it's a queen. You're down to $900, but you have a queen. Sorry about that, guys. The camera shut off again. And Jay, could you repeat your bet, please? I kind of forgot it. $300 lower. All right, $300 lower than a queen? It's a 9. Jay, you have $1,200. You're at the big bet. You must bet at least 600 Do you want that 9? I want to change it. All right, let's see if you can make a good change for the big bet. The nine becomes... A three! Let's do... You have $1,200. You must bet at least six. 
$800 higher. Alright, he is holding back. No shame in that game. $800 higher than a three. It's a king! Good job, Jay. $2,000 plus 200 for winning the game. Jay, you have $5,800. But you have not one, but two chances at the jackpot. Sorry, guys, it did it again. But, Jay, you have two chances at a $40,000 jackpot. If you can find it on the first crack, you get 5000 additional cash. Sorry, guys, it did it again. But, Jay, what's your first card? First My pick. My first card is... I'm going to go with six. All right. Is the dollar sign behind six? No. Charge it for a little bit, and Jay, your last pick was? Two. All right, let's see if, it's, if the card is a dollar sign behind two. No. Oh. oh, it was at the end. It was seven. So next time the jackpot, we were $50,000, and Jay, you get to come back again with $5,800 as your two-game winnings total. And we'll see Jay with the new opponent next time. So long, everybody.